we're well on the way to moving to Marseille. This exciting journey for Edinburgh Rugby starts right now. For friends, family and supporters, they can pick up the big match atmosphere before the game in the supporters bar at the pavilion over there. And then this is the route that they will take to go over the bridge and into the ground and savour that big match atmosphere. It's going to be good here, eh? Yeah, uh, beautiful, beautiful. That was a short taxi ride for you, Stuart? Yeah, just 10 minutes from town, so very easy to get here. And Duncan, for supporters from Morningside and Brunsfield, it's just a short walk down to Marside here. 10, 15 minutes walk from Brunsfield, Morningside, which is currently less than it is from Haymarket to Murrayfield Stadium, so that's a, it's a good thing. And Stuart, for season ticket holders, they've obviously got the option of park and ride either at BT Murrayfield or up at the Napier Craig Lockhart campus. Yeah, ample parking up there for the season ticket holders and, and they can jump on our bus to get here. There's also loads of public transport available as well, which is great. Yeah, plenty of buses, uh, 10 minutes from the city centre. Uh, very easy to get here. And then the access for disabled uh, supporters as well. Yeah, there's specialist parking on site and facilities um, on site as well. Tremendous, let's go and have a look at the pitch, fellas. Yeah. So here we are, pitch side here at Mar side, and I've got strong memories not only of playing here, but watching teams of the calibre of Australia, New Zealand, Samoa, and of course, great, great memories, really exciting atmosphere. Duncan, what are your early memories about Mar side? I mean, I think the big things were just playing in front of big crowds for Watsonians, for Edinburgh, and for Scotland A here. Um, you know, there was people close to the pitch. It's a great pitch to play on, and you know, just a really enjoyable place to play and watch rugby. And Stuart, from a player's perspective, moving to a more intimate, exciting atmosphere, surely that's going to be great for you? It is, yeah. Everyone, uh, everyone at the club's really excited for it. I feel um, it's the right time for us to move, and, and you know, playing here, I think the capacity is going to be just under 6,000 to start with, which I think is going to be perfect, and a real chance for, for us to get a, a really good atmosphere and, and hopefully push for sellouts. And the pitch will allow Edinburgh to play this dynamic style of attacking rugby that we've been seeing over this season. And certainly that's going to suit you as well. Yeah, no, I know the pitch well. I played uh, all my schoolboy rugby here and for Watsonians. And, and certainly the pitch is it's one of the best tracks in Edinburgh and it has been for a number of years now. So, um, yeah, it's nice, it's big uh, and it'll certainly suit the way we want to play. Duncan, we talked about the atmosphere there. You played for Scotland A here and Watsonians. Does that make a difference to spur you on to greater things? Yeah, I, mean, I think it. I think it's twofold. It, it spurs on uh, us, but I think it intimidates the opposition as well. So I think um, both things are really important. And you know, those the, the supporters being close to the pitch and you know, shouting encouragement or hurling abuse are, are both good things. And getting behind the team first and foremost. Yeah, I mean, there's an onus on on the on the team and us us to do well. But you know, we we look forward to the support we can get, and you know, every little helps. Do you have any funny memories here? You played your schoolboy rugby here. Anything that sort of uh, strikes a chord here? Any dogs running across the pitch in the middle of a game? Not that I remember. Uh, I just have, I've just got so many, you know, fond memories here. I, this is where I learned to play rugby, uh, this ground here. And I remember sitting in the stand, you know, behind us there, watching the first 15 play when I was just a young boy. And, and that sort of, that inspired me because that was the highest level at the school was the first 15 and they were playing in cup fixtures. And, you know, we'd have the full, the full stand completely, completely full of the school kids. And it was always such a big deal for the school. And then, I, you know, I, I got older and I started representing the first 15 and then you know, we were playing in these, these big cup games and it's, it's such a, a big occasion for the school and so many people turn out for it and I just now think that if we can you know, turn out even more supporters to come watch us, it's going to be a fantastic place for us to play. And Duncan, you kind of touched upon it, you're playing for not only Watsonians but Edinburgh here, Scotland. It's a great pitch to play attacking rugby. Any special moments for you in terms of kicking goals as well? Um, no, I mean, I spent hours practicing here, but I mean, I think it is, it is a big wide pitch, um, great surface, and it is a wide pitch. So, you know, there should be space somewhere for us to attack, and, you know, that's, that's a good thing. 
and as, as the coach to Edinburgh, a, an exciting opportunity for your team to excel in a great atmosphere. Yeah, I mean, it is, it's going to be different and there'll, there'll be some adjustments need to be made. But, you know, I think, like we've said, to get five, six thousand people here um, close to the pitch supporting us is, is going to be a great thing. So exciting times for 2017 in Edinburgh Rugby. Yeah, definitely. And um, like I say, we, we need to do our bit in the pitch as well, but it's, it's all very encouraging. This is what Marside looks like now, but this is what to expect. So gents, here we are in the main stand, just short of 2,000 seats in the refurbished stand. It's really going to take the fans closer to the action here. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be fantastic. Literally from where we're sitting here, we're about you know, 10, 15 metres from the, from the actual pitch there. Um, so for the supporters, that's a great thing. And you know, from a player's point of view, that's a great thing as well in terms of you know, hearing that vociferous support and shouting encouragement. And Stuart, if we were sitting here at West Stand at Murrayfield, you're miles away from the action. You're a hooker. You're going to be throwing the ball down. Literally, I could talk to you as you're throwing the ball in. It's going to put a lot of pressure on you, but maybe the players will be responding to that atmosphere. Yeah, well, you know, if you've got any tips, you know, I'll, uh, I'll be listening out. Um, but yeah, no, absolutely the players will respond. And it's, it's something that you want when you, you're playing at a ground like this. The crowd are going to be right there and it's going to add to the whole atmosphere. And it's what you're doing on a Friday night in Edinburgh. You know, you might have a, a beer and then you come down and you watch Edinburgh rugby play at Marseille, which I think would be a great thing. And talking about beer and the uh, hot drinks and the, the catering, uh, Duncan, obviously we're now used to infrastructure around Stadia, but at either end of the stand, the fans are going to be able to purchase goods, uh, purchase uh, the, the hot drinks and the beer. It'll be a, a good experience for the fans, I'm yeah, sure. I, mean, I think it'll be different to what they're used to over the last um, few years, but you know everything's been catered for, and you know drinks, food, toilets at either end of the stand, so everything should be easily accessible. And Duncan, you'll be excited about Edinburgh Rugby's move to Marseille in 2017? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a great thing. Um, new stadium, uh, new year, and hopefully we can kick on from what we've, you know, what we've started to build on so far. Stuart, we talked about the atmosphere. Of course, we're in the main stand, but there's going to be two temporary stands to the north and to the south of the ground. That's going to ensure that the supporters are covering this pitch. Yeah, it is. And it's going to make it feel like a proper stadium, which is going to be great. And, and you know, we're going to aim to try and sell this out. Uh, that's the vision for this club, is that we want to get players excited that they're going to be playing in front of a sold-out atmosphere and a sold-out stadium. And, and to have the stands at either end, it's just going to add to the, to the whole atmosphere. Exciting times for Friday night rugby and Edinburgh rugby. Absolutely. Good, thank you very much, Jen. We've had the backing of the coaches, We've had the backing of the players. Now we need the backing of you. Let the countdown begin. <laughs>